Hi and thanks for joining. It's Patty from PS Paper Crafts and I'm going to show you how to make this card today using the tailored tag punch and some designer series paper. This is called the Snowflake Splendor Designer Series Paper and it is one of the papers on sale during the month of October. So the month's almost over. If you wanted to get some of those Designer Series Papers, you need to order them soon. Um, what I'll do is I'll just punch out all these pieces and then piece them together, kind of like tiles. Um, I used the stamp set uh, wrapped in Christmas and it says it's the most wonderful time of the year. Um, and then on the inside, I have Christmas blessings, and I'm using some of these little snowflake embellishments. They're really cute. For the next card, I'll just change it up a bit, and I'll be using the snowman season. I'm going to do let it snow, and I might do both of these on the inside and some snowflakes. So let's get started. I have my piece of paper designer series paper and there's um, lots of different designs but I like this one because of the different colors it's got some Highland Heather and um, Pacific Point <laughs> have to think about it and I think this is uh, either Coastal Cabana or Bermuda Bay it's all on the back of the package though so you can always coordinate everything and the first thing I'll do let me get my pieces out I have a piece that this is my normal card layer that you know kind of standard it's five and a quarter by four and i want this white edge around so i'm using that behind the piece that i'll be gluing everything to and this is just down i think an eighth of an inch so it's four and an eighth sorry yeah four and an eighth let me think Three and seven eighths or four and an eighth? It's three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. That's what it is. And all these measurements will be in my um, blog, on my blog, PSPaperCrafts.com. So don't worry about it. So I use the tailored punch. This is what it looks like. It has a back that locks so that you can store it easily. And then when you unlock it, it opens. And I like to punch from the back. And I'll just be punching along along this paper and then we'll decide what we're going to use and we'll have to cut off excess so let's just get them all punched out and i will speed this up i'm just going to cut this off right here and get rid of that and then i'll punch these pieces And we'll see if that's enough as we lay it out. I want to use my uh, silicone mat because I'm going to be kind of hanging off the sides of this. And then I can um, just trim everything down. So let's just start. Um, I did start kind of here. You can go off the page here. And I'll just use my glue and just start gluing pieces down. And it will kind of look ugly or funny and then we'll trim everything off and pull it all together so let's just go right here and we'll just put it together i like to use the liquid glue because it just gives you that little chance to get it right in the perfect place And I'm just going to snip this so it's not too long. And then we can piece it in, trim it down after. So just put a little glue and put it down. And I love the how this varies in color. And I do want to put it, kind of match up the colors a little bit so that it's not too mixed up so let's put this here actually let me put the darker blue and you can do this however you want it so i'm going to get kind of the center pieces in and then i'll go around the edges and that's my doorbell i'm going to stop this and i'll be right back sorry about that that was my uh post office they were just dropping off 
a package for me and they bring it to the door when they um, they have a package like that so doesn't fit in the mailbox I thought it might be stamping up order I'm waiting for one to come it's always exciting right and let's see so I'm gonna end up with some of these little pieces here and we'll fit them in around the sides and if we need to punch more we'll just punch them isn't this pretty I did this last year with the snowman paper and I really loved how it turned out and I thought well let me try it this year with this different paper same kind of theme snowflakes I guess We'll just get all of these pieces in place. It's like a puzzle. And really, you can do this with any, any paper. Um, I've also done it with a picture. It's just a little bit more difficult because you, you really have to be careful as you're punching so that you're not cutting off the picture too much. So let's see if we can get this one here. Just going to put a little bit of glue here and then we can trim the back and use the other part. And I'm just leaving a little gap. And then that won't work. This has to go on an end. So let's put this here. Just trying to figure out where to put the glue. I don't want to put too much glue on. There's my dog again. I think he heard me put down the, the glue. Sorry about that. I can uh, <laughs> turn, turn my phone into airplane mode so I don't get calls, but I can't stop the dog. Let's do this here. He's my uh, my Boston Terrier, Bailey. He's my buddy. All right, so let's lift this up. And this is why you use the silicone mat, so you can lift it up. This is really stuck there. And then I'll turn it to the back, and I can just trim down some of these pieces. And then some of them I'll throw away, and some of them I will reuse. Now your, your um, scissors will get a little bit of glue on them, but you could just clean them off. You might be able to use that piece. I don't think I'll be using these pieces. These will be garbage. This one did get stuck a little bit. It's hard when there are just small pieces at the end like that. I don't know if I'll be able to salvage that one. I think maybe longer scissors would be better, but my only long scissors are my ribbon scissors and I will not use them on something like this. Do you guys have ribbon scissors that you just keep for ribbons to protect them. I won't let anybody cut anything with glue on it with my ribbon scissors. I'm very, uh, very firm about that one. So we have some holes. Um, I will probably have to cut some more. That one might go. So we'll just do this one. And it may not, you know, exactly line up, but I think it's okay, close enough. So let's get a couple more punched out. And again, I'm just gonna cut this right down and then I'll use those other pieces. So let's get, I'll just do a few more. Maybe 
Maybe just two more will do it. Let's see. See if that will work. So let's put this one down. So it takes a little bit of time, but not that much. Not that bad. It's kind of fun. Put that one down. And let's put this one. I'm going to do the kind of the purple part up to match. And I think I can get a piece for over there out of these two pieces. So again, it's good to cut from the back. Just snip them off. And one more here. And my back is a little gluey, but that's okay. I'm gonna lay it down in another layer, so. Come on. I wouldn't do this in your trimmer because you might get glue all over your trimmer. So just be careful of that. And let's see. I think we can do that. Let's see which color we want. Yeah, I think this one would be better. So let's just put a little bit of glue here. Get this in place. And then lift it up and then I'll get rid of this thing because it really is getting kind of sticky from the back I don't listen to myself just told you all cut it from the back and here I am cutting it from the front all right one more and I think I have something here there we go all right so let's get rid of this and these scissors now the next thing I want to do is add this to this layer so now you'll see that there's a white layer all around. So I'll just put a li liquid glue all around here and put it down here. You see it's a little bit crooked but good enough okay let's put some ribbon on so I'm using this really pretty um, snowflake splendor ribbon and it's very pretty it's like glimmery so I'm not going to tie a bow I'm just going to put a ribbon around so let me get my um, my ribbon scissors and we'll just cut a piece and I like to scotch tape it Get the scotch tape. I'll need two pieces of this. And just wrap it around the back. And put this other piece here on this side. Okay, and then we can put this on the card base. So I'll put a little bit of glue here. Got a little crease in there, that's all right. So I'll put a little bit of glue here. And you can decide which way you want to lay it. I think this way is good. Okay, and then I need to do the sentiment. So the sentiment, I'm using, again, the snowman season, and I'll do let it snow. Let me just get a scrap of paper. I thought I had one. Here we go. So I'll use the Pacific Point ink and just ink up the let it snow. And then on the inside, 
just kind of put that there just to make sure it's nice and dry. On the inside, I will do, I guess I didn't mount it. Let me do that. Ooh, I've got glue on my fingers. I think I always have glue on my fingers. I'll do the Merry Christmas and this other one. So let me get these mounted quick. And it's nice that these are photopolymer so we can see through them easily. Get that lined up on my grid. Merry Christmas. And then we'll see what this says when we stamp it. Hoping the season builds heartwarming memories. And then let's get a few snowflakes up there. We could put some down here too. All right, let's put that aside. And I'm wondering if I should put some snowflakes on the tag. Let's see how it looks once we punch it. So I'll just push this through, get it all straight. You can punch it first and then um, stamp it. But if I have a punch, I like to stamp it and then punch it so I can get it lined up perfectly. So, oh, and then one more thing. I like to put a background around my punch. So if you just take a piece, this is the Pacific Point. I'm just gonna punch it out. I know a lot of you probably know this trick. Got some glue there. And then if you just cut it in half, you can glue each half to the back, giving it a border. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight because you're gonna figure, you know, fiddle with it to get it um, behind the sentiment. So let me get my glue. And I don't wanna go too far up. I wanna make sure it's down. And then you can take this and just get it where you want it. Now it won't be on the sides, but you've got the ribbon, so that usually takes care of it. So now we'll do the bottom. It's just a nice way to give yourself a border on a tag like this. Okay, let's get this card. So you can stamp some snowflakes. I'll add these snowflakes instead. Um, let's put some dimensionals down. So we'll just put some back here. And then we can add those snowflake embellishments. Okay, let it snow. We'll just put it right here. And then let's put our inside in. That's a fun card, I think. And these are the snowflake, um, they're adhesive back snowflakes. And you get two sheets and one is kind of the Highland Heather look. And they're almost like iridescent. And then this one is kind of blues and greens. I don't know if you can see it. And the, all the different colors in here. I went with these and they're a little bit thicker than they look. So let me get my um, picket tool and we'll just put some of these right on the sentiment. So they're adhesive back, so they're nice. I like that. Let it snow and Merry Christmas, hoping the season builds heartwarming memories. I think they're both cute. 
and fun and I hope you give it a try if you have that punch. Some of the other punches won't really work. This is nice and clean on each side so it really they fit in really nicely. So thanks a lot for watching and come back again. Have a good one. Bye.